a big mess, uh, Rob and Eric, and we're waiting here at the studio to see whether or not R. Kelly is coming here first since he has been released from Cook County Jail. The back rent here has only grown, only one part of R. Kelly's financial troubles, according to documents we examined today. Before R. Kelly turned himself into police, he left his studio on North Justine. Less than a year ago, records show he owed more than $79,000 in rent there. He was sued by the property's owner, Midwest Commercial Funding. Six months later, a Cook County eviction order showed with back rent, court costs, and attorney's fees, what Kelly owed at the studio ballooned to $173,000. In 2011, the singer's financial woes included his homes. J.P. Morgan Chase foreclosed on his South Suburban Olympia Fields mansion. The bank said Kelly owed $2.9 million. In Atlanta, court records show Kelly was sued for back rent at one home for $25,000, another for $6,000. There was a child support, a back child support order. More than $160,000 in back child support due records show. But Kelly's attorney says that had nothing to do with keeping the singer in jail for three nights. That's a civil matter. He doesn't have to post that to get out of jail. A question we cannot answer. What happened to the money of a man who sold an estimated 75 million albums and sold out arenas worldwide? Live on the Near West Side, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Thank you, Jim. You can see the history of allegations against R. Kelly and the timeline of the case. Just go to our website, cbschicago.com slash R. Kelly. We'll have more on our news at 10 o'clock.